Ian from Lean Media, I just discovered one of my ASINs is about to run out on Amazon, and I'm going to be using the Restock Inventory tool to send in more inventory. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me. Let's get started. So this is one of our ASINs, and you can see that when I look it up on Amazon.com, there's only 15 left in stock, so I need to get some in right now. And many people, they would just use the Manage Inventory page to do this, but I'm going to be using the Restock Inventory page because it will tell me, it will give me a recommendation about how many units I should send in whereas the Manage Inventory page doesn't show that information. So to get to Restock Inventory, click on the menu icon, go to Inventory Dashboard, and then once you're on this page, click on Inventory, Restock Inventory, and you'll come to this particular page. So let's get rid of some of these notifications here. And this is the item right here. And one of the most important columns here is the recommended replenishment quantity. And you can see it says I should be sending in 101 units and it recommends that I do it next week. I'm going to be doing it this week. Uh, one other interesting thing I, no I noticed here is it says that there are uh, total days of supply. There's 56 units, and that doesn't quite jive with what I'm being shown here, so I'm not sure what's going on there. But regardless, it, I still should be sending some in because even if it's 56 units or 15 units, that's not enough uh, for sales over the next month. I know that because it shows that I usually sell 72 units in a 30-day period. And because actually Prime Day is coming up, it's going to be even more than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the Send Replenish Inventory button. It takes me to this page, the Send to Amazon page. And you can see that I already have a kind of a packing details unit set up because my supplier puts them in boxes of 40 units each. Even though they're asking for like 101 units, you can see that recommended quantity, I'm just going to send in two boxes. I'm not going to have my supplier break it up. And there's no penalty for sending in less than what Amazon's asking for. And I believe they even let you send in a little bit more than what they're asking for. For instance, if you know you have a sale coming up or there's some other event that might trigger more sales. So I'm going to say two boxes. I already set up this packing template before. If I didn't set up the packing template, um, you can also just do individual units. You see that's an option there. But I'm just going to do two boxes because it's already set up in the system. It already has the weight and the dimension. So I'm ready to send that. I'm going to confirm and continue. And it's validating the SKUs. This could take a few seconds. Okay, and next one, confirm shipping. So my supplier is based in the United States. I only, uh, I only use suppliers, fellow small businesses that are in the United States. I don't go overseas. That takes away a lot of complexity. Actually, my supplier is in the next town, so I can visit them either to pick up inventory or to discuss a new product or uh, deal with any issues that come up. So I really like that. And I know that the uh, the the owner of the small business, uh, she can usually respond within a day. So I'm going to set the I'm going to set the uh, the send in date to the 27th. Sometimes I set it to the next day, but I know that uh, it's still the morning right now. So she'll be able to send that in this afternoon, I hope. And then it gives the details here. Um, the ship from it. This is actually kind of a, a a different address than what the supplier is. That's okay because it's the next town over. It doesn't affect the the cost at all. Uh, however, if you were in if you were in another state compared to your supplier or another country, you definitely would have to change that. Um, and you can set up the different suppliers' addresses in the system. Okay, so UPS Amazon partnered carrier. I should say that Amazon gets fantastic discounts for UPS, uh, for me at least. This is basically about you know, one half or one third the cost if I was purchasing UPS shipping on my own uh, using my own UPS account. So I really like that. I'm going to accept charges and confirm shipping. Takes a little bit of time to churn through that. I'm going to do one other step before I print out the labels and that is to rename the shipment name. So Amazon assigns this kind of, uh, not random, but uh, kind of a coded text and numbers to explain what the shipment is. So it says FBA, STA, I don't even know what that is. Um, this is today's date, 1423. I think that is the, the projected shipping time. That's like about, yeah, it's basically four hours from now. TEB9, that is one of Amazon's fulfillment centers in either Pennsylvania or New Jersey. So I'm going to rename that. And what I always do is I always give a human readable name to me, my employees, and also my supplier so they know exactly what's going in there. Light green, and then I put the date on. So today is the 27th 
And so that way, when I'm looking at my um, my shipment queue in Amazon, or I let or I print out the labels, this text will be on there, and it really helps me understand what's in the boxes. So I'm going to hit save, and then all I need to do set up the printing. We print to um, kind of a standard eight and a half by eleven sticker sheet, and it will print out a UPS label and an Amazon label on that. So once I print that, it'll be good to go. And then I just need to give the stickers to my supplier, or if we had them in our own warehouse, we do it ourselves. So that's basically how to send a shipment using the restock inventory page. If this video helps you out, uh, check out my other blog posts and videos on leanmedia.org. If you search for, for instance, inventory, you'll see all of these posts I've made about Amazon and Shopify and whatnot. They're all free to read. There's no masterclass or paid baloney. I just like to help other sellers figure out how to use Amazon. Thank you so much for watching.